Did I miss out? Wait, what the f Eh. I didn't even watch Top Gun. Did I miss out? Wait, what the fuck? No, we don't. Pull the ejection handles the second I tell you. I don't want to pull the handles. I don't want to pull the handles. I'm not really... <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> the world is rigged. Eject, eject, eject. Why are you like this, Tom? What the fuck? Don't have him smashing through the top. Don't. What? Did they actually have two fighter jets go over the top of the Oscars? Wait, is this? Ladies and gentlemen, your host for this evening, Jimmy Kimmel. By the way, cutie Cinderella, this is how you do it. This is how you run it, Oscars. You get creator coming down from a parachute, brother. Landing, bro. You have me land. Me. Hey, Craig. Not Hassan. No. No Ludwig. Creator. Give me a second. I adjust my danger zone here. <laughs> my banshees are caught in my inner shearing right oh, now. Oh, Jimmy, that's really All funny. Right, I'm good. Welcome, and uh, congratulations. Welcome to the 95th Oscars. 95th? We made it. You made it. Do you care about the Oscars chat? That, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty big. It's a dream come true for most of the people in this room. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of it, especially this year when the world finally got out of the house to see the films you worked so hard to make the way you intended them to be seen, in a theater. Wow, look at all the famous people, I holy crap. That I am happy to see that Nicole Kidman has finally been released from that abandoned AMC. <laughs> where she has been held captive for almost two full years now. It's good I to get that. Blade, thank you very much. And thank you for encouraging people. Been a long time, I'm a still snipe you in games with love from Blade's smile. Don't you dare! Don't you dare you look stream great. Everybody me. looks so great. When I look around this room, I can't help but wonder, no, no, no. is Ozempic right for me? <laughs> we have so many first-time nominees I've here. I've been in Nicole Kidman's alone, childhood house. What? Nominees, including Jamie Lee Curtis. What is bro saying in here? What does that mean? Any games today? Colin Farrell. We play games every day! Sorry for yelling at you, Primer. Sorry. Oh, crazy! Only a reaction, Andy! We have... There's not been one day where I have not played a video game. You guys just aren't committed enough to watching the stream throughout its entirety. It's the viewer's fault. You are not a committed viewer. You need to become even more Kill obsessed Young. with me. Become more parasocial. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Keith Lee Kwan. <laughs> Yay. He's fucking awesome. This is, I think, a great piece of Oscar trivia. 31 years ago in 1992, Brendan Fraser and Keith Lee Kwan were in a movie together. Remember which movie it was? Encino Man. It was Two the mummy, right? And Sino Man are nominated for Oscars. Okay. What a... Apparently, Brandon Fraser's and that other gentleman's speeches are really, really, really intense and so and what amazing. A very difficult night for Pauly Shore. <laughs> Maybe it's time to reboot Biodome. Why not? I did, K Dossity. I did watch everywhere, every, uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. I they can just Hollywood never say the title of the movie. Ideas. I mean, poor Steven Spielberg had to make a movie about Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Congratulations, Steven. Look at this, by the way. I want to say, right here, this is my Oh, yeah, Steven made a movie about Steven himself. Spielberg That's wild. What a pair. The Joe and Hunter Biden of Hollywood. It's crazy how many famous people are so close to each other, you know what I mean? Seth, what are you on right now? Be honest. Nothing? Mushrooms, right? <laughs> Did you give one to Steven? Give him one. Let's see what happens. Maybe he'll make something crazy. 
Stephen claims he's never even smoked weed, which I find hard to believe. You mean to tell me you were sober when you made a movie about an alien who eats Reese's Pieces all day and <laughs> can't remember how to phone home? You were high as a bike when you made that. Did he make E.T.? Steven Spielberg made E.T. When did that happen? <laughs> Bro, that's new. Steven that's new is news the to me. He's the director to be nominated in six different decades. What else? What other, other movies did he make? It's remarkable. He's so old. He's so he old and wrinkly. For the Fablemans, which is by far his most personal I bet film. his they balls right look like you know it. crusted and up and walnuts. Also write what you know your mom did with your dad's best friend. And Stephen did that, and the result was yet another... He made Jaws. For the great he Michelle made Williams, Indiana Jones. Is, um, he made Saving Private Ryan. Michelle. Shut up. No way. And the Jurassic Park. An no, he didn't. After almost every take, Spielberg would rush up to her with tears in his eyes, and he'd scream. Star Wars? That's no, no, that's J.R.R. Martin or whatever. I also want to extend congratulations to Stephen's longtime collaborator, the maestro John Williams, who is now the oldest nominee in Oscar history. And he looks great. He's John, John turned 91. Harry Potter? Last that was George month, Lucas. still scoring, if you know what I mean. <laughs> They were here. Okay, Jimmy, uh, the jokes mid, everything else uh, extremely, extremely mid. We do. We want your speeches to be moved. Uh, what's something important to search up at Oscars? Oscars best film, Oscars best what? Oscars best... Um, uh, Oscars best moment. Thank you for the gifted sub, man. Thank you very much. I don't want to watch TMZ though, you know what I mean? I just want to... And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> J.R.R. Martin Omer Delal. Three pixels! Three pixels! ...in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and played Data in the Goonies. He holds a film degree from the USC School of Cinematic Arts and has worked as a stunt coordinator and assistant director. Two pixels, one pixel! One thousand monitors! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's screaming, dog. Oh. Oh, into the mic. Man, don't Thank snort you. into the uh, mic, bro. My mom is 84 years old, and she's at home watching. Mom, I just want an Oscar. Oh my God, I just got goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh bro, I'm gonna start crying. Nah. Okay. My journey started on a boat. I spent a year in a refugee camp, and somehow I ended up here on Hollywood's biggest stage. They say yeah, well, I'm from stories Wild Wild. like this only happen in the movies. I cannot believe it's happening to me. This, this is the American dream. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the Academy for this honor of a lifetime. Uh, thank you to my mom for the sacrifices she made to get me here. Plummies, thank you so much brother, for the sub. David, love. who calls me every day just to remind me to take good care of myself. I love you, brother. Uh, Aww. Thank you to Kendall for all your support and everything you've done. Uh, thank you to A24, uh, to Daniels, Jonathan, Jamie, Michelle, Crazy a typical and male who makes jokes to hide his life, emotion. No. And I'm not talking over this video to stop my emotions either. You have not got me. Okay? I owe everything to the love of my life. My wife, Echo, who... Who, month after month, 
year after year for 20 years, told me that one day, oh, goosebumps. one day, my time will come. Dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you out there, please keep your dreams alive. He's talking to me, not you, but me. Oh. Thank you, thank you so much said, for welcoming me back. said, get that contract done, bro. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No me, no me. Aww. Yeah, this is, I clicked this today to watch it. And the Oscar goes to? Actor in a leading role. Brendan Fraser. Who the fuck is Paul oh, yeah. Mescal? Who the fuck is Paul Mescal? As a child, what did Paul Mescal do? Who? An interest in acting after seeing a Who is that, bro? Performance of the musical Oliver. People would like the Oscars a lot more if they just posted the whole thing on YouTube for free in 1080p. We know that you're multi-billionaires. Post the fucking video online so everybody can enjoy it. You cunts. Whoopsie. You're all multi-millionaires. We know you're multi-millionaires. Post it for the average man to watch. Come on, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh no, you've got to, you've got to subscribe to this thing to see a fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, we've got to, we've got to do this, we've got to do that. Oh, we got to, oh, fuck you. So this is what the multiverse looks like. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Um, I thank the Academy for this. Honor and for our studio A24 for making such a bold film. And I'm grateful to Darren Aronofsky for throwing me a creative lifeline and hauling me aboard the good ship, The Whale, that was written by Samuel D. Hunter, who is our life. My food's here, fuck! Gentlemen, you laid your whale sized hearts bare so that we could see into your souls like no one else could do. And it is my honor to be named alongside you in this category. I want to tell you that only whales can swim at the depth of the talent of Hong Chow. And I um, started in this business 30 years ago, and things, they didn't come easily to me, but there, there was a facility that I didn't, uh, I didn't appreciate at the time until it stopped. And I just want to say thank you for this acknowledgement, because it couldn't be done without my cast. It's, it's been like... It's been like I've been on a diving expedition on the bottom of the ocean and the air on the line to the surface is on a launch being watched over by some people in my life, like my sons Holden and Leland and Griffin. I love you, Griffy. My manager, Joanne Colonna, Jennifer Plant, and my best first mate, Jeannie. Thank you again, each one and all. I'm so grateful to you. Good night. Yes! We love you, Ben and Grayson! We love you! And he loves me. The Oscar goes to... Actress in a leading role. Michelle Yeoh. studied to become a ballet dancer and despite her illustrious career in action films has no formal training in martial arts holy shit holy shit you know why these are better than the stream rewards
I, I think w with stream rewards and if we want to evolve it, it has to be a little bit more meaningful to have one. You know what I mean? Like there's top heavy in in um, streaming and then there's very low ground, if that makes sense. And if you're not extremely top heavy, you're absolutely irrelevant to everybody who is top heavy. You know, does that make any sense? Whereas like indie films and stuff like that and, you know, like I, I know it's Brendan Fraser, but he's made a massive comeback and everything everywhere all at once was an a23 film i believe like it's like and these new actors come onto the scene and it's like holy fuck like they made it you know it's like god damn you know what i mean like yeah it's like oh my god they made this film and now they're at the oscars and now they're fucking there you know Yeah, I saw that too. I think Cutie's doing... She's on the right track, though. Yeah, and it'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you. Thank you. For all the little boys and girls who look like me watching tonight, <laughs> this is a beacon of hope and possibilities. This is proof that dreams dream big and dreams do come true. And ladies, don't let anybody tell you you are ever past your prime. <laughs> Never give up. I wouldn't be standing here tonight without the Daniels, without A24, without my amazing cast and crew, without everyone who was involved with everything everywhere all at once. But oh, I have to dedicate this to my mom, all the moms in the world, because they are really the superheroes. True. And without them, none of us will be here tonight. <laughs> Bro, they finna fuck so hard when they get home. <laughs> She's 84. And I'm taking this home to her. She's watching right now in Malaysia, KL, with my family and friends. I love you guys. I'm bringing this home to you. And also to my extended family in Hong Kong, where I started my career. Thank you for letting me stand on your shoulders, giving me a leg up so that I can be here today. And to my godchildren, to my sisters, um, all of them, to my brothers, to, oh God, to my family. Thank you. Thank you. What is a god child? Thank you to the Some, academy. It's, uh, it's, it's if it's their mum and dad died, you, you. you take the kids. Bro, I ain't, I'm being nobody's godparent. I ain't doing that ever. Don't ask me. Don't hit me up. If you go, your know, kids are going straight into a home. Don't ask Clay to be your godparent. I ain't interested. Fuck all that, brother. I ain't my kids. I ain't my babies. That's your babies. And now that you've gone, your babies are homeless. It seemed half of the streamers didn't cops. want to be their TVH. The yeah. The vibe of the awards was weird. No, I think a lot of streamers um, need to respect what the bigger streamers um, like QD are doing for streaming. Facts in the chat if you know what I mean. If a streamer really puts a lot of effort into making an award show, get in there, man. However, I would say I understand there's a only a certain amount of area you can have, but do invite more people. For example, I, I wish like streamers like a lot of RP streamers, like, for Loser Fruit not to be there is a little bit weird. Again, Co-Carnage, Shroud. Was Shroud there? I'm not sure. It, like, there's so, there's like a massive ecosystem of streaming. And I think like, yeah. I understand you can only have so many people 
but yeah. Only way to stop Karens from being loud and dramatic. So getting straight into things now. This male Karen, Kevin as we call them, is I think they do the try their absolute best their and it would be hard because it is the, st the start of something great. Like, seriously, you know? he's hey, giving me a ticket for stunting because he heard me.